Hey guys, welcome to today's Fortnite video. My name is The Flash, and in this video, I will show you an insane strategy which I found out to always be able to reach at least the top 10 in every Fortnite Battle Royale match. No matter if you are a pro player or someone who has never played the game before, it works for everyone. So yes, that's right, always finish at least in the top 10 in every single match. Right now no one is really using the strategy and this could change the game entirely if more and more people start to use it. I will not only show you the strategy, I will also explain all the details to you as well. Also make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more of my Fortnite videos in the future. But without further ado, let's jump into the bus. Alright guys, so here we are in our flying balloon bus on the way to school and at this stage our plan is pretty simple and pretty obvious. The only thing we are doing at this stage is to delay our jump out of the bus to the latest possible point because the more we delay it the less openings will be left when we land on the map and the lower the chance to get spotted by someone. So after we jump out of the bus we immediately open our glider By opening our glider immediately, we normally delay the landing by roughly one and a half minutes and once we touch the ground, there are around 50 instead of 100 people left on the map. So we will already survive 50% of the players, but that's just the beginning. There is a lot more. So first of all, we are gliding back to the middle of the map because after one minute, the first safe zone appears on the map and we can land directly in it. And there is our first safe zone. Now we search for a tree which is the closest to the middle of the safe zone to land on it. By landing in the middle of the first safe zone we are guaranteed to be in the second safe zone as well to survive even more people. While landing on the tree we also try to spot some players for later steps and even more important we try to spot some loot around us. Once you are on the tree, sit down so your character is hidden in the tree. You can also remove the axe to be even less visible but that's not so much important since it's already very hard to spot you. Now you can watch how the amount of players keeps decreasing and drink a coffee or do something else in the meantime. But what you should do while waiting in the tree is again try to spot people and loot for later. Also make sure that you don't move too fast while you're sitting on the tree otherwise others could hear your footsteps. And yeah, some background informations. I've tried this strategy 20 times so far and it always worked. I always reached at least the top 10 of the remaining players. It's also a very good strategy to farm XP to reach a higher level and unlock level rewards. In my opinion the main reason why no one will spot you is that no one expects you to be on a tree because the only other way to hide on a tree is to build your way up to it and if your openers don't see any stairs or buildings they won't expect you there. And at this point we already survived the first storm and as you can see there are only 30 people left and we are already in the second safe zone as I mentioned earlier and yeah this will obviously help us to survive even more people and at this point it's even more important to try to spot people try to spot loot and once we survive the second safe zone there should be around 15 to 20 people left but yeah let's make a jump into the future and we are in the future and as you can see there are 20 people left and we got a bit lucky we are pretty close to the third safe zone 
and now we have two more minutes left to stay in the tree and then we have one and a half minutes um, while the storm is coming so we have roughly three minutes and 20 seconds before we have to move so let's jump into the future once again so here we are and as you can see there are only 11 people left we already spotted a player in front of us and we have 30 seconds left till the storm hits us so we have to move and to decrease the falling damage we try to jump on a lower tree and you usually take between nothing and around 60 falling damage depending how high the tree is but yeah now it's time to jump off the tree and trying to find some loot and we got pretty damn lucky because here's a guy who's almost dead who's healing right now and as you can see I only had to hit him once till he was dead and I got all of his loot I got tons of resources a healing package and weapons and at this point there are only seven people left so we have a pretty good chance to win with all those resources and all the armor so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it leave a like if you do so and tell me in the comment section what do you think about this strategy do you have another strategy or do you see any improvements for the strategy and yeah feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of my fortnite videos in the future i also do rocket league videos and yeah have a great day and see you soon